is the Prudential Halftime Report, brought to you by Prudential. Prudential, a leader in insurance, investments, real estate, and financial services. See why Prudential is today's rock-solid choice for your financial needs. It's halftime of Game 2 of the NBA Finals with the Spurs leading the Knicks 39-34. to The Knicks are shooting under 30% despite a lot of good looks at the basket. Latrell Sprewell and Tim Duncan each have 12 points. Hi, everybody. Hannah Storm along with Isaiah Thomas, Peter Vesey, and Bill Walton will check in with their thoughts on the first half in just a few moments. First, the Spurs' David Robinson. He's the only player in NBA history to lead the league in scoring, rebounding, and block shots, as well as being named MVP, Rookie of the Year, and Defensive Player of the Year. In other words, he's done just about everything on a basketball court, except win an NBA title. Robinson reflects on a glorious career. The San Antonio Spurs select David Robinson from Navy. The Naval Academy and the Navy in general have been very good to me. Uh, they are the ones who really gave me the opportunity to do a lot of the things that I did. And I wanted to fulfill whatever commitment they wanted me to fulfill. So I figured I'd be seven feet tall my whole life. So uh, hopefully the opportunity to play the NBA would still be there. If you're an NBA team and you want to draw up a center, a prototype center, you use David Robinson as the blueprint. My options were wide open. And I think when I came down here, I, I was... I, my mind was definitely not set on coming here uh, because I, I didn't I didn't want to come to a bad team. I wanted to have an opportunity to win. For the most wins in the history of this great franchise, your Midwest Division crown and the greatest turnaround in the history of the NBA. Coming to this this franchise when they were, you know, 21 and 61 and. Uh, and the city embraced me right away, and it was uh, it was really kind of overwhelming. I, you know, I, I didn't feel like anybody's savior, <laughs> that's for sure. But Robinson has been a savior in more ways than one. Promising to pay for the continuing education of a group of fifth graders he met at a San Antonio elementary school several years ago. A promise he was happy to keep upon their graduation. I felt like when they were graduating, I was watching them go up on the stage. It's like my kids, you know. I was getting up, hey, Jermaine, hey, uh, Homer, all right. It's, it's my boy up there, you know. We all know this, I mean, without a doubt, that Dave's really been an important part, piece in our life. And he's bigger than basketball. He was a man that we'll know as a supporter, first of all, as, you know, um, a role model and a friend. That was one of the greatest joys for me. I mean, that's, that's where you know that giving, you know, you get as much out of giving as, as, as sometimes the people who receive it do. David Robinson represents for us the commitment to team, to principle, and to community that we in the NBA find emblematic of what our players strive to be. A lot of people get that nice guy thing confused. I mean, it's nice when you can get along, but who cares if you're getting along and you're losing games, you know, that's doesn't matter. No one likes obviously to be criticized or questioned with their with their desire. I mean that's you don't get to this level if you don't have an incredible desire. I remember, you know, they, we lose to Utah and we get knocked out of the playoffs and uh, I'm sitting next to David and you look in his face, you felt bad for him because in his eyes he felt that he let not only himself down but everyone down. I'm sure at that point David Robinson was thinking uh, I might never get a chance. Spurs trainers in a conversation with David Robinson at the end of the Spurs bench. He doesn't want to sit down. That year it was so hard. I had to sit around and watch our team just struggle. I mean, it was awful. It was, uh, it was awful. You know all the teams that we had been killing over the years came in and they're laughing and dancing and beating us. But when we got Tim Duncan uh, that was a uh, that was a reward for a very tough year. He's going to be a welcome asset to the San Antonio Spurs. But Tim Duncan is a great player, but people don't expect Tim Duncan to lead this team to the, to the promised land right now. I mean, maybe in a couple years they will. That's a great responsibility of, of being me, and, and I've, I've, I've embraced that my whole career, in good and bad. Give it to David. Grabbed by Ellis. Double team by Wood. Takes the jumper. Yes! 71 for David Robinson. All those years, you, you put up all those numbers that are just ridiculous. And, you know, you, for me, I didn't even realize how ridiculous they are until this year. You know, I'm looking at my numbers this year, and I'm saying, wow, look how much lower they are. You know, I mean, it's, I mean, it's not even close. I mean, I, you know, 
But it just goes to show you, you know, how much you need one another in this league, how much you need a team. And, 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 and actually, I've had more fun, to be honest with you. They are Western Conference champions for the first time in Spurs history. A lot of people don't like to take a lot of the criticism and don't like to go through some of the hard times, but to me, that's a whole part of it. You got to learn to enjoy that stuff, too. You got to learn to enjoy some of the hard times because yeah, that's a part of life, and, and that's what makes the good times so much sweeter. David Robinson's willingness to embrace a reduced offensive role on the Spurs, his leadership, his defensive play, some of the big keys to his team's success this season. He has four blocks in the first half of this game. And when we return, we'll check in on the 99th U.S. Open at Pinehurst where some of golf's biggest names sit at the